In this video, we're going to take a look at this product, Harmonizely. It's, it's a Calendly alternative. So if you're looking for the ability to schedule meetings very easy and seamlessly with your various partners and customers and whoever that might be, then this is a tool you definitely want to take a look at. Stay tuned. We're going to go in and set up a new account and walk through the features. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. And today we're going to take a look at this product called Harmonizely. Um, looks like it's a Calendly type of product. It allows you to do uh, scheduling uh, with your contacts, whoever that might be, where you can send them a link to your calendar and they can book your appointment. These are tools that I really encourage. I think they're fabulous. There's a lot of them on the market these days. So I came across Harmonizely. And you know I'm always looking at alternatives to Calendly, so I want to take a take a look at it a little bit deeper. One thing from looking at their website that I like is right up front they tell you what makes makes them different because there are just a ton of tools. In fact, they say there are hundreds of calendar scheduling apps on the market. So I really like that honesty that they they realize that, and they say that it's not just the key difference between them and the others is the others support Google iCloud or Office 365 mostly. And they're supporting a whole ton of others, uh, Zimbra, Zoho, Fastmail, Nextcloud. So this really opens up the market if you have one of these, you know, non-traditional email platforms with a calendar. You can hook it up with this. And if it fits the bill and from the interface screenshots they have, it looks pretty good. Now, one thing I notice is if I go to their features page, I really like the fact that they had the uh, integration with Zapier. So, you know, that's a that's a big feature. When you've got that Zapier integration, you can tie your calendar appointments into any place you want. Keep track of it in your CRM. Start to put them into your marketing system. I mean, lots of things you could do there. You can even do some retargeting ads through Facebook. But looking at their feature set is pretty robust. I mean, it looks like a pretty good match to Calendly. And when I look at the pricing, they have a free plan, which is always great. Uh, but it's about the same price, uh, ten dollars, which is about the same as the as the pro plan over on Calendly. One thing I do notice here in their pricing, and we'll take a look at this once I get inside, is it talks about uh, custom domains, and that would be really nice right here, custom domain. And that's something that Calendly people have been begging them to do that for years, and for some reason they won't do it. The other thing I like here is that you can remove their branding. Of course, that would be expected with the Pro. So everything on here looks pretty nice. They talk about team support. Uh, let, let's let's try it out. Zoom integration. Let's try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up for free. Give this a try. I love the fact that there's no credit card required. Plus, they have that free plan. So you can always stay on that free tier if it meets your needs initially. Let's go ahead and put my information in here. I'll put my TechSmart boss email. And that's my little remember. I'm not going to remember this one. All right, it says it sent me an email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and go activate that link, and I'll be right back. And I am back. So you'll see here that it says my user has been created successfully. They got a little, little GIF or GIF, whatever you like to say there. And it says almost there. Let's go ahead and go next. Let's walk through their onboarding and see what we have here. Um, okay, so they do have some tips. Let's see. Let's hit next. It'll, it'll walk you through. I'm not going to do that. You know, I like to kind of explore on my own. And, and the very first thing makes sense. It looks like you got to have some calendars connect. We might come back and do that in a second. Let's let's click through uh, some of the interface. I see right up here, I've got my link that they by default created. Let's go ahead and copy that. And just see if, if it has anything set up at the moment. And it looks like there are some, are some default settings, 15-minute meeting. As I said, I do like their interface. Oh, can't do anything until we get a calendar hooked up. So... Let's actually go ahead and connect a calendar. I'm going to hook up to my, okay, so you've got your choice, uh, as we talked about. And there's a little help message. Um, this is a, looks like it's warning you that you might see an error when you hook up to your Google Calendar and telling you it's okay, show advance. I, you know, I think that, uh, it, 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 what they say it right here is because their app is still being verified. So it's like a new, newer product. Um, so it's pretty impressive that I'm seeing everything I'm seeing from a, a new product set like this. But you can see the integrations here. Let's go ahead and connect to Google. 
and I'm going to pick my tech smart boss. I'm already logged in. Ah, there's that error message that they talked about. So this pretty much says, you know, this would be pretty scary if they didn't alert you or if you didn't know what this represents, that they're still waiting on that verification. I'm going to go ahead and go to advance and go ahead and say that I want to do it, even though Google tells me it's unsafe. I want to trust them in this case. And now I'm connected, and it looks like I've got some more tips coming up. I'm going to go ahead and ignore these. So I'm on my calendar. Let's see here. This is interesting. You can pick your calendar. Use it for availability. Very important. So it'll use your, your free busy on your calendar, and if you already have an appointment, it's not going to show that uh, as an available time. And then you can pick which calendar you want to add. So you've got a lot of robustness here. Very similar to Kalinli. Nothing different there. Now let's go ahead and try that link again now that I've added a calendar. Paste that back in, and now let's see. And there we go. Now it's actually hooking up into my calendar. I can say, let's pick a date for a meeting. There's my time slots based on my availability. I could pick a time slot, and look at this. They got a lot of stuff set up by default for you uh, where you can go ahead and send this route right away. Now, what I want to know is what type of customization we can do in about that custom domain. So let's, let's keep looking here. All right, so now my meetings, I don't have any meetings yet, but this is where those would be, all right. Meeting types, talked about unlimited meeting types. So this is the one that we just looked at, which was that 15 minute one. Let's go ahead and edit that. Everything is pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm having a very easy time navigating this because it's pretty intuitive. And I honestly, I, as an experienced Kalinli user, it matches the interface of Kalinli pretty well. But let's see what we can customize. Meeting name, I can put my own description. I can pick my own duration in five minute increments. That looks nice. I can modify my slug here. I can pick my location. There's that zoom, but I like the custom text. And this is where you can put that custom text. You can automatically detect time zones. So that's good. Uh, now I do like this. This was a, a feature that many of these products don't have is you can make a secret meeting. So I can make this secret, have it something that I could send people, but not have it on my public page so that they can see it uh, publicly. So that's nice. And then let's see what we have here. All these should be, okay, so here's availability. So you can set up when you're available. And again, your calendar is always going to determine if the slot is open even within that availability. Custom questions, pretty huge. You can make that required if you need to be. Uh, now these are really critical is the minimum booking notice, the max advance booking. So I like to always say you can't really book me more than four hours in advance. I got to have a little bit of prep time. And then the buffer, you don't want back-to-back -back meetings. So I always like to put a little five-minute buffer uh, between my meetings. And then uh, that's a nice touch where you can redirect them to a, a external URL for confirmation. Very nice because then you can, again, tie in some cookies and pixels from Facebook. It looks like you could do a little bit of email template customization. That's nice. All right, let's. So that that would be how you can set up your meeting, and uh, there's even a preview. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so we see that calendar integration. We've been in integrations. Zapier. I'm not going to take the time to go all the way out in Zapier and look at their Zapier, but I'm sure it's pretty robust. You can embed these, which is nice. And I actually now they have custom domains, so. On Calendly, I do embed, so it goes within my domain space. Here, I'm not even sure if it's needed, but they give you that capability. And then here's Appearance. Oh, wow. So when you click Appearance, that actually pops you into this editor mode. And it looks like I can change colors. So I'm not changing any of the layout per se, but I can change colors. Let's go ahead and change the top header color and see how that looks. Okay, yeah. Notice I could do I'm going to make it a darker color. And then what you would do is go in here and change your text into the white. So pretty pretty straightforward. I mean, this is this is really easy to do. So you can see all the modifications on the appearance that you could do. I saved that. And it looks like once I save it, I'll just go ahead and close it out and come back over here. Um, billing is billing. Let's see, account settings. Ah, now this is where I can... Oh, there's the custom domain stuff right there it says experimental again it's, i think this is on the newer side but it looks like they got a lot of cool stuff here and this is pretty straightforward you just point any custom domain you want to harmonizely.net i'm assuming they're going to give you a dynamic uh ssl certificate doesn't mention that but i'm i'll be amazed if they don't um 
So that's pretty powerful there. Uh, let's see what else I can do. Let's turn off their branding. You can put an avatar picture there. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to browse. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I think my computer is kind of going slow here. So I've got my spinning wheel of death going on when I click that browse. I'm going to click that one more time and see. Well, that's not working well for me today. Maybe I've got some other things that might be blocking it. But that looks like where you would put your your uh, that. So let's go ahead and save. I'm going to copy this. Go back out here and look and see if it saved all of our settings. Yeah, it did. So you can see the header, the text. I've got the one meeting type. You can pick your meetings. Now it's hooked up to my calendar. I don't have anything on my calendar, so the availability is still the same. And then I've got that. So I, this this looks pretty complete. The only thing I don't see in here, let's go to billing and see. Yeah, it just says I'm on a trial for now. Current plan is trial. The only thing I'm not seeing at the moment would be the team management and the ability to do some meeting types where I can uh, do round robin selection where I can have multiple team members and, and, and it goes and picks the best one for the particular appointment or I can have a collective scheduling where two team members have to be present for the meeting. Those would be two essential things that I would need in order to get away from Kalinley. But if they add those or if that's just a portion of the team plan that I'm not seeing right now, then this looks really, really good. Um, and it's it's a pretty, pretty affordable price. So, hey, check it out. Harmonizely.com uh, is the website. You can set up a free account. And if you like these kind of videos, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put them out on a regular basis and love to explore new technology and give you ideas. And also check out our webpage, www.techsmartboss.com. See you in the next video.